Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Bonnet Baking. She got her bonnet on. She's in the kitchen. Let's get the bacon. All right, today we're making a vanilla bean sour cream pound cake. I'm going to say it again slow. A vanilla bean sour cream pound cake. You will see in a later clip how I got this out of this vanilla bean. I hope you guys enjoy this video. The rest will be in voiceover. See you later. All right, guys, let's get into these ingredients. Today we're using our Baker's Joy. We have three sticks of butter. We have a cup of sour cream. I'm using the Great Valley sour cream. We're using a vanilla bean, which is in that jar, vanilla extract. We're gonna use some flour and six eggs that are room temperature. The butter and sour cream are also room temperature and some sugar. Hey, TJ. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Now, we're gonna get our vanilla beans out of our pod. So this is how you're gonna do it. You're gonna take it out of your jar. Hopefully you find one as moist as mine was. You don't want it to be dry. It smells delicious. <laughs> All right, you're going to cut into it and you're just going to scrape the contents from inside. You'll see in a sh little bit how my fingers are covered in the little flecks of vanilla bean and that's the flavor that you're trying to get out. It makes your cake smell like fresh ice cream. It's so delicious. You open up your pod. There you see I opened it up. You're just going to scrape that little black stuff out of there. I put mine in a little bowl on the side. This takes a few minutes of patience, guys. So take your time and don't cut yourself. And just make sure you try to get all the beans out as possible. Vanilla bean can be used in so many recipes. I uh, love it in shortbread cookies. If you ever make shortbread cookies, add a little vanilla bean and some orange zest. They are magnificent. And you can see it's all over my hands. All right, now we're gonna cream our butter and, sh and sour cream together. You wanna get that all mixed in incorporated. You're gonna start adding your sugar one cup at a time and to mix until it's nice and fluffy and you don't hear the sugar scraping around. Make sure you run your spatula around the edge to make sure you get everything incorporated. Nice and smooth. Now we're gonna add our eggs one at a time. I use six eggs. Some people use five, I use six. There we go, we're gonna speed that up a little bit for you. All right, I forgot to turn on the camera, but I put the um, vanilla bean in, and now I'm gonna add some vanilla. I'm doing this before I put the flour in. I used about a tablespoon of vanilla extract along with the vanilla beans and we're gonna get that all mixed in and you'll have those nice little black flecks all over your cake which is so fun to look at and it makes it look like you just cut open a um, pint of vanilla ice cream get that all incorporated All 
All right, we're going to add our flour in a little bit at a time. You don't want to overbeat it, but you definitely want to get it all fully incorporated and get it all nice and smooth. And here we're going to make our little tea cakes. Now, usually I do this with cream cheese batter instead of sour cream. So you'll see in the next clip how they came out kind of flat and weird, but they taste amazing. Um, definitely give this a try. And keep in mind that you need your oven to be around 350. And it takes about 10 to 15 minutes for them to get fully cooked and make sure you turn your temperature back down before you put your pound cake in you do not want to put these in at the same time as the pound cake because you do not want to open your cake oven once it's in you don't open it until after at least one hour of baking got them on pan you can get a little aerial view of how it looks on the pan and this is the hilarious clip of how they looked after but they're ugly but they taste really good all righty I'm gonna try to zoom in so you can see the specs of the vanilla bean here's our finished cake beautiful and as you can see I poked a bunch of holes in this cake now stir this back up and we're gonna pour this over Woo. the cake to soak down in those holes. Look at her. Mm. Delicious. Ooh. Look at that. all right guys that's it for the video please like comment and subscribe love you bye